Oh, he's got away! <laughs> Everyone has an area where you feel like your holidays actually started. You may have gone through months of planning, maintenance, or maybe even making a trailer. Everyone does it different, but this was our journey. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeling this demon Got a taste and a waste bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a oh, god never awesome. change Play the game that we say I need a break Time to stand strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Like many places up this way the water runs clear and cool during the dry and this is where our Cape York trips always start It's a decent couple days drive to get to the bottom of the Cape for us we were still able to pull up on the second Darvo and time to set up and relax with a couple yabby pots in the creek. It doesn't matter how shallow or small the water looks, there's still always a chance for some red claw or cherubin for recce the next morning. Our typical Cape trips might be a bit different to most other people's. For the majority of people, Cape York is a once in a lifetime trip that gets talked about for years before you leave. But for us, it's a yearly or even twice yearly fishing and camping trip, so we've done all the touristy things many times before. But even still, you always have to stop at the waterfalls. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you. I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tied up my chest. I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt. Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens. Pass me the mic and I'll show you. On this trip, we're heading up to Moody Heads, which is right up the top at the mouth of the Jardine River. A place that we've been on previous trips, but have never taken a boat, so there's still a little bit of the unknown ahead. Out to the river mouth is about a four kilometre long track, which is a mixture of tight tree-lined sandy sections and open plains. Having never towed anything out there before, we figured we'd end up getting bogged at some point or have a bit of manoeuvring to do around some trees. It was a bit tight in a few spots, but mainly more when you get closer to the water. It's fine to tow in a boat or a camper trailer, but I wouldn't recommend taking a caravan as there's a good chance you'll end up wrecking something.
even though there's not much room out there for three cars and trailers, we figured we'll just roll the dice and just see what happens. Say hi, Rob. After all that, we rolled in the camp late Arvo and set up. The boat got thrown in the water and caught some liveys just before the sun was going down. Alright. Oh, that's not moving. That's alright. Um, I'll drive forward. You hold onto the rope and I'll go back and I'll slam the brakes on. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'll just cut it. It turned out just before we left, I replaced the live well intake. Right. And had forgotten to put the hose that connects to the bait tank back together. No harm was done, but had to pull the floor up again to get access to sort her out. That's a lesson learnt. After everything was set up, we had a bit of tucker. The rods went out with those liveys we caught earlier, and this is what ended up happening. He is, he is a good one. Um, He's got to jump again. I don't know if I should just go quickly yeah, grab the net. Or if I can grab him. Oh, he's oh, a nice he's, one. He's huge. What? Buddy, oh. Um. <laughs> can I move or are Yeah, I know. Cause... <laughs> oh, he's really. <laughs> if you head up that way with a boat, you are able to leave the boat in the water in some areas. With the tides not favourable in terms of getting out the front, we had very limited opportunities. Out of the four or five nights that we were actually there, we only got to go out a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on the, the, <laughs> yeah, we're, we have reception here, so... Okay. Well, good on you for ringing up. Dad having a good time, or is the heat getting at you? Heat's getting at me. <laughs> uh, I'm not oh. surprised, actually. Yep, yep, go, nice. go. <laughs> oh, Dad's on. Oh, this is a better one. Bigger one, this one. Lift, lift up. Go. <laughs> Well, that's a big fish. Oh, I need the gaff it's on this one. Hilarious conversation, Dad, Dad's really struggling. <laughs> no, he's sitting down. Oh, oh, snapped. <laughs> oh, 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 it was. I didn't even see it. It was right there too. So what was that? Oh, uh, I didn't see, see it. it. Hey, it took the hook. Bit the hook off. Yeah, she's got. There's a one barrel or two barrel. Two, two, two barrel. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, y yesterday we were on the boat, I caught a, about a 60 centimetre one. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Tony's got one now. Oh, Tony's on there. I'm the only one that hasn't put a line in the water. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You've just got to where you're fishing. And yeah. you've got to where I can't. Rightio. Oh, well, hopefully Tony will pull it in and not be like Dad and lose it. 
Yeah. Yeah, another, another Trevally. Alright. Yeah, Dad's got another yep. one. Yep. <laughs> oh. That's, yeah, it's a big one. Oh, this might be a shark. <laughs> nah, it's very. It, if it's not a shark, it's a very big fish. So, yeah. Well, I might have to hang up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a yeah. shark. Alright. That's alright. Bye. Bye. Let's just tighten that up. Yeah, it's still on. <laughs> yep, that wasn't a wave. Didn't realise this until afterwards when looking back through the footage. But as you can see, the sharks come up the back of the boat between the outboard and the tin and he's hit it or had a chop at something on the way through. Even he was right there in front of me, I didn't have a clue. This would not be a good place to be falling in the water, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoa! That's a shark! <laughs> Holy dirlies! <laughs> up up! <laughs> He's up up! Oh! oh he got away! <laughs> 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 You'd have no chance if the fish were bigger. Oh, now you know how fast you need to go. <laughs> there it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Golden. Yeah, just flick your bail on. Since it was getting on a bit, we headed on back in, checked some pots on the way through, but no luck as there's a lot of fresh water out the mouth of this river. It's probably not the best crabbing spot, but had never done it before, so it was a bit of a learning curve. We ended up cooking up some pulled pork for nachos and some spuds for tucker. After all this, we went out and fished away the rest of the night. We ended up getting a couple more smaller barra. There was a crocodile that decided he was pretty interested in what we were doing and would sit on the edge of the mangroves scaring all the fish away. Oh, big Spanish mackerel. <laughs> As long as we're down the bottom. There, you go, right. there we you're go. On, go! On. I'll hold you, you just keep winding, alright? Keep down. winding. Lift up, Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. <laughs> Some type of trevally. Yeah, cool. Good, mate. What is it? Might be a juvenile yellow, actually. Uh, I don't know. Is that many different types? Drop your bail arm over. Do it. Oh, yeah. Get away! <laughs> Swim for your life! Uh. Swim! 
Yeah. It'll be jumping out of the water like that Spanish man. <laughs> yeah. Go, go. It's not winding, go. it's broken. It's because it's heavy. It is winding. It's not. It's heavy. Go. <laughs> oh. oh. You ready, Rolly? You just felt a bite as that was falling down. Oh, get that back. Where's the truck? Where's the truck? Six, six, six. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Get it! Hey! You got the hundred bucks, Wally! <laughs> We're just waiting for the shark to come. Yeah, so was I. I reckon he'll, he'll know we're here now. That's why he he's not swimming. <laughs> yeah, at least the wind hasn't come up like yesterday. Yeah. Uh, see you back there. We only got two fishing trips out the front with the boat as the wind really picked up after this. After the five or so nights here, it was time to move on back into civilization. We definitely didn't go hungry in any of these places. Plenty of fresh fish, pulled pork, spuds on the fire, oysters, fresh and also Kilpatrick. No crabs, but unfortunately. Uh, I might take it out a little bit deeper. boat got thrown back on and we headed on off to the next spot. We ended up stopping in for a look at the old World War II radar station which is just up the end of the road. I wasn't paying attention and ended up ripping a hole in the side wall of the trailer tyre. Quickly whipped her off and we headed on up for the usual photo at the tip. Figured you may as well since you're going all that way even though we've been there plenty of times before. On the way back down, we stopped back into the waterfalls for a swim. We never like camping where anyone else is, so pulled up at Scrubby Creek for the night. We're heading back south after this, but pulled into a bit of a creek and was extremely surprised to find a few barra in there in this puddle that was probably only 150 metres long. The water was well stagnant, but we've seen a couple in the snags. I think we've gotten here just a little bit too late. The water must be going a bit funny. That there would be probably a mid 60 centimetre barra in this little pond just here. He was here yesterday afternoon floating but now this morning looks like there's two more so I think the water's going a bit funny another one there probably about 50 yeah. this one here's probably about that high 50s as well Maybe close to 60. Oh, looks like it's a bit too late. 
that night there was quite a few baby freshy crocs in that water. Tried to get some on film but it never come out. This just shows, put in a little bit of effort, go off the beaten track a bit. You can find some good areas and have it completely to yourself. Got a couple small cherubim, but threw them back in so the fish and the little crocs have got something to eat. This will be somewhere be keen to get back early in the wet season, as this time of year it was well and truly at the end of the dry. If we get to stop in here next time, we'll go for a bit of a look around as we're going to be bringing up a quad and a smaller tinny so we can go to a few different areas. It's good having the bigger boat, but you can be a bit limited into where you can launch it. I'm sure that boat will go up again, but you just need to work out what you're going to be doing.